English Royal Silver is a pretty rare thing to have coming on the market and also English Royal Silver which has a German provenance as well so there's a marvellous combination there and you only have to look at the workmanship of these pieces too to know that they're going to excite collectors worldwide. The ability to create silver gilt on this scale at the beginning of the 18th century was so rare. You know, Conrad Holling was completely, clearly a, a master craftsman, and they just are spectacular. When you associate them with, you know, up on the buffet at, at Herrenhaus and that vast palace outside um, Hanover, and used by a succession of very distinguished people, you can't fail to be sort of taken by them. Sir Julius, who collected the main part of the collection in the late, late 19th century, and then his son, Sir Harold, were both very distinguished connoisseurs, as well as being very rich. And so they had the advantage of a brilliant eye, were sensible to talk to really good dealers and museum people like Boda in Germany, and could afford to buy what they were encouraged to go and look at.